So what's going on Call of Duty refugees and Call of Duty beta testers? We gotta talk about this one immediately. What is going on in Call of Duty, man? What is going on with zombies? What is going on with Black Ops 6? What happened that made the homie Face Jeff make a video, right? And even the homie, you know, oh, that's a BBC online. Uh, uh, forget about that. Sorry about that, guys. Bruh. But but what's going on, right? Like even the homie blamed Truth for peaced out with this element. Guys, we're gonna talk about this immediately. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for six likes on the video. And I wanna show you guys this video now. I'm talking about the homie, Mr. T likes to fight, okay? Oh. Shout out to the homie, Mr. T likes to fight. He was under massive drama, but he beat the allegations. If you know, you know, right? But now it looks like that we're back to talking about video games, guys. Roll. Black Ops 6 pre orders are declining, especially when it's not Ooh, number one no. on any video game store, including Steam, PSN, and even Xbox. And I was watching a Phase Jeff video where he was saying that this game was being outsold by Dragon Ball Z Sparking Zero. Now, this is. Man. How is that even possible? Say it, it ain't so. They got the BBC online. They got the friendly BBC. Friendly BBC online. They got the friendly BBC online package. And even after that, you're telling me that they ain't doing good? Say it, it ain't so, man. There's no hate. It's just crazy that we are living through yeah. a generational shift where anime games are even being outsold by Call of Duty itself. And that's crazy considering Call of Duty used to be considered the console game, the game that was always getting Bruh. number one in sales yeah. and revenue every single Yeah, uh, worldwide except, yeah, 2013 makes sense with GTA 5. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, maybe, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, in 2018, but I was not aware of the Animal Crossing, though. Dang. ...year for consoles, and now it has less pre-orders than an anime game. Now, this could <laughs> potentially be because of the Game Pass, as Microsoft yeah. has yeah, acquired yeah. Call of Duty, and Black Ops 6 is going to be the main game that is coming for the Game Pass, so a lot of PC players and Xbox players are probably already on that... Oh, 110%, right? Like, yes, absolutely, but we're also hearing is that PlayStation pre-order numbers are low too so that does not explain that but of course on game uh, on Xbox with Game Pass and PC pre-order numbers are bound to be low right because you're gonna get it on Game Pass but in terms of PlayStation it don't make sense that $20 game pass just to play Black Ops 6 as soon as it launches and that's the greatest part because they don't have to pay full price but I still think that there is an issue especially with zombie players because I think a lot of them have cancelled their pre-orders <laughs> after seeing Liberty Falls and it may uh, honestly I never really pre-ordered but I was thinking about buying the game but after seeing Liberty Balls for me that's true I uh, basically was like okay I'm not gonna buy <laughs> Yeah, but that's me though. If you guys are buying, hey, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that if you guys are buying. But for me, I feel like that I'm gonna wait like for Terminus gameplay. And if that map looks good, because everybody was hitting the G spot though. Everybody gather around. Okay, we gotta have a stud muffin meeting immediately. Okay, we gotta talk about this one immediately, right? Because here's the thing though. After seeing the Terminus map, I was shaking, brother. I was like, hey man, oh, like, oh my I'm god, shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I was like the homie Mr. Dalek JD. Yeah, the video clip that you just saw, right? Everybody was shaking, everybody was doing helicopters, and everybody was like, yeah, bro, like, this is the one, this is the one, this is the year, this is the year, right? Uh, and after seeing the gameplay for the Liberty Balls, everybody ended up getting blue balled. Uh, and, and I got blue balled to the point where I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna wait it out, because you never know, Terminus, the gameplay that we saw, what if that was rendered gameplay? Oh, shit. What if that was fake gameplay, like how Cyberpunk uh, gameplay was all the way back in 2018, which we later learned about that it was fake and it was rendered gameplay. Yes, the more you know, it was fake. But of course, right now, Cyberpunk is in a good state and the fans are back at it, right? The fans are loving it. Uh, so yeah, Cyberpunk made a comeback, but after how many years, right? Like, they lost a lot of their fans in the process, but a lot of people came back, and yeah, you know, this and that. But that video is not, this video is not about that. But here's the thing, though. In terms of the multiplayer beta, I tried it. I, I mean, I liked it. I, I thought it was, uh, it was fun. Uh, come on, guys. Like, it was better than Concord, though. 
It was better than Dustborn, man. Like, I enjoyed my time playing the multiplayer beta, but in terms of zombies, I'm not sure. Wait for it. Let's see. Makes me think if COD Next as a whole was a mistake, at least for zombies. Now, obviously, for multiplayer's debut and War Zones, I know a lot of people were obviously there just to play those two. But this was the first time Treyarch has ever really outright shown gameplay yeah. before the release of an actual zombies title. True. And to me and a lot of older players, it's... Yeah, just like looking at the map. Imagine the other map is also like that, bro. Like, damn man i feel like i f i really feel like that this is the least call of duty least hype treyarch call of duty you guys agree with that or not because the last time i was really excited for a call of duty game was black ops cold war prior to that i would say modern warfare 19 even uh prior to that i would say black ops 3 yeah black ops 3 was the last best zombies Call of Duty game, right? Multiplayer was also fun, don't get me wrong. But the all-time favorite gotta be Black Ops 2, man. Let me know your all-time favorite Call of Duty. In the ruined comments. a lot of the hype i know especially as soon as that has happened call of duty has gone radio silent and even some drama from the yeah. event has unearthed where apparently the reason why duke dennis actually has the highest round on liberty falls is because a lot of the youtubers that were actually invited there that were zombie youtubers such as mr dally jd got kicked off of the game before they could actually play even more while duke dennis got to hit that world record of round no. 50 so there's no. definitely a little bit of shade going on here and you can t that that cap bro that cap bro that cap that that gotta be like a bug in the game though let's be real man and the homie blame truth he kind of peaced out too right normally like uh i always uh, I'll wait for his like hate videos on call of duty and uh, call of duties and love that you know what i'm saying and i love those i love those man i i i miss those complaining videos man those are like absolute therapy for the Call of Duty refugees and Call of Duty beta testers. Uh, even, I, I would say, like, some of the Call of Duty fans as well. Like, it, it's just, like, therapy, right? So, I miss my free therapy, man. I, I need the, I need my homie. I need the, I need the homie. Blame Truth back, man. Somebody, <laughs> somebody call Blame Truth, man. Get, get his ass back to making complaining videos about Call of Duty, man. I miss, I miss him, man. What an era, man. What an era it was when Blame Truth was making videos regularly, though, bro. Tell I miss that. that Treyarch does not want the cod zombie youtubers to find everything i just find that funny because since cold war more and more is being shown pre-release for zombies and for a lot of us players that has taken away the surprise element of zombies yeah yeah bro like yeah we all know that bro like come on man like, now i'm definitely not saying for the uh, if you got the reference you got the reference development crew to stop updating us i just think that there is this amazing way that treyarch used to build suspense before the zombie titles released especially with games like black ops 3 black ops 4 as well and that got the community so hyped and so it's interesting now that we are in an area where this gameplay for zombies has had so much backlash and like i said since call of duty next treyarch has gone radio silent and it's really destroying the hype of the game especially when we are yeah. less than three weeks away like Pro absolutely what no say it again so oh, the game is coming out in three weeks yo yo i swear to god i didn't know though man in three weeks that is crazy what's going on with call of duty like uh, uh i i know they have been dropping replacer trailers i've been getting notifications of that but nothing has happened until launch and that is just going to be bad marketing for the game and makes me worried as well so this type of stuff combined that we haven't seen a proper round based experience in cold war in four years is definitely i think what's hurting the general perception at least for black ops 6 zombies after vanguard and modern warfare 3 zombies people seem very tired of black ops 6 especially yeah. when yeah, more yeah. people are interested in the impossible yeah the the van garbage zombies oh man Man, these were the days bro like i remember that, like just by looking at the picture i know what it is bro it was like the giant like easter egg kind of thing right yay i remember man uh van garbage zombies and also like modern warfare 3 like um zombies lack of zombies it was not even zombies bro all of that bull squash and even like all just the lackluster zombies has kind of like killed the fun in a way right 
And, and on top, like, uh, people were excited. I guess people are still excited. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. You're excited, you're excited for it. You're not excited. You're looking forward to it or you're like 50-50. I'm like 50-50 right now. I I enjoyed my time playing the multiplayer. It was it was I it was better than Concord. Guess come on now, guess Bruh. like come on, man. It was better than Concord. I'm just telling you the truth, okay? It was <laughs> it was better than Concord, guys. Uh, but in terms of zombies, I need to say I feel like I'm gonna wait like a day or two uh, after the game is out, and if the gameplay looks good, then I'll buy. If not, then I'll wait till like the DLC one zombies map. And if that look good, I'll buy. If not, then I guess I'll just wait for the next Call of Duty game, okay? Because they happen every year. They happen every year. Possible Easter egg for Black Ops 3. Now, despite Black Ops 6 having four years of development, I'm not a hater. I have to mention that. I'm still extremely excited for Terminus. I've seen people Hater. say because... Toxic Gamers! Yeah, Terminus does look good, but here's the thing. The what if what they showed us is like fake CGI rendered gameplay. You, you never know in this day and age guys you don't want to trust it man like trust me bro like they, you don't want to trust it trust me you don't want to trust it okay this liberty falls looks so bad terminus will be bad too and i just think that is just not good logic you know there are mechanics that i'm definitely excited about to see in black ops 6 zombie well uh that's people being skeptical and everybody has the right to because uh yeah like how is it possible that one map looks so subpar and the other map looks kind of amazing like uh you know like the next uh, the eight wonder truly the eight wonder right how is that even possible so yeah people have the right to be skeptical i guess that is a uh, fair that is absolutely fair but i do hope that the map turns out to be good i hope future zombie maps are good as well i don't know man such as the augments and gobble gums and i will do the camel grind i've said this before that i just hope that the majority of the gameplay isn't the camel grind because when you look at a map like liberty falls it looks like a map that you get in grind your camos and then you get out and i mean i did the camel grind for modern warfare 3 zombies and the borealis camel and listen it was all right but i just don't want black ops Damn. 6 zombies to be a repeat like if you told me that this is a multiplayer map i would have believed you All right, look at that, bro. Like, <laughs> bro, where? <laughs> what is zombies about this one, man? Damn, this thing is crazy, bro. Four years, man. Four years, bro. Four years, no. And listen, I'm, I, 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 I had fun playing the Black Ops 6 uh, multiplayer beta, man. I'll keep it real with you guys. And I want Call of Duty to be good. And um, if you have been around for a minute, you know I was uh, shaking. I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm shaking, oh, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm shaking. I, I was shaking genuinely because, like, zombies, when they revealed it, it did look good, man. It did look good, bro. Like, what is going on with zombies, man? All right, let's get back to it, boo-boo of that because terminus game before we get to it boo -boo, i just realized i need to shout out my, my brothers okay i need to shout out my brothers shout out to the homie pat or not the homie but the, the okay shout out to pat uh shout out to aspa aspa clonesy adub darren shout out to all of you for following over on the instagram if you do have instagram i would love to have you there link is in the pinned comment i let you go back to the content here boo boo Gameplay is very restricted to what we've seen already. Like Treyarch has only released a 17 minute footage reel towards every single person in the world right now. And I find that kind of odd because Liberty Falls, everybody was able to play. And it True. just shows that in a way, them making Liberty Falls public kind of was a net negative for Black yeah, Ops 6 Zombies. And 100% like this was a carefully hand selected, hand picked gameplay. Did look good and hopefully it's it was not fake gameplay guys that's what i'm hoping for i hope we're gonna get what we see but with call of duty bro the only thing you get what you see or you see what you get or <laughs> whatever they show you what you get is a friendly okay that's the only thing that is like true okay you see it you see it in the game or you see it in the trailers and you actually have the exact same thing in the game but in terms of like everything else i mean she man trailers are always the best people trying to call liberty falls a bonus map is exactly <laughs> what i mean by this you know yeah. i've never even heard of such a lame excuse for a map yeah. like if you're going i mean black ops 3 the giant zombies that was a bonus map that was a bonus map and that looks so good even to this day and at that time people were creaming their pants
You know when the giant, let me actually show you. Going under that logic, Nocturne Toten was also a bonus map, and that yeah. map is revered way more than anything with Liberty Falls. Again, we've talked about this in multiple videos. It's about the ambience, it's about the aura, but. Yeah, this one is copyrighted, so I cannot show you, but like, just show you like the pictures, right? You see that? Like, holy crap. You remember when you saw that? Man, like, look, I, I cannot play more than that because of copyright, but, but like, uh, yeah, bro, like this. And this map came out nine years ago, and these suckers had four years to make it, and this is how it looks like. Damn, these suckers are crazy, bro. To me, Liberty Falls is just for Warzone players. Like I said, to get in, grind camos, and then get out. I think something that Treyarch could have definitely done to improve the Black Ops 6 marketing for sure was include people like Milo. I mean, Milo even did a whole trip towards Washington in the United States to go to where Liberty Falls is. And then they go ahead and proceed to spoil the whole map at an event where Milo isn't even invited at to play. I mean, that is just kind of insane that you have someone doing such free marketing for the entirety of black ops 6 zombies and treyer just completely shoves them off because they don't follow in line with everything that activision says and that is why to me the con next event at least for black ops 6 zombies was a complete net negative i mean the people that you had doing the most for yeah. zombies weren't even present mm. at the event and so to I, I think it definitely did hurt the zombies uh hype way too much oh uh, to the point where like seconds are like hey i'm not even gonna buy though how many of you guys are gonna just buy for zombies i want to know and if you're gonna buy for zombies hey that's that's all right though like i don't uh i i get it like some people are probably still uh hyped for it and still excited for it. i get that like a lot of people uh a lot of people just recently started playing call of duty right so they don't have any references to anything like before uh, you, you know like the older Call of Duty zombies like in Black Ops 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, World at War Like I played all of those, my favorite gotta be Black Ops 3 zombies, then I would say Black Ops 2 zombies Then Black Ops 1, indeed I loved all of these I'm not necessarily mentioning Black Ops 4 zombies because it wasn't that good But in comparison bro, <laughs> I rather Black Ops 4 zombies than whatever crap that we get nowadays man You feel what I'm saying? But still, Terminus might be good, keyword is might not gonna pre-order i'm gonna wait it out i feel like i'm gonna wait like at least minimum a day minimum minimum a day minimum a day or or two three days minimum minimum yeah to me it just completely ruins all of the amount of hype building that milo did it completely ruins the whole amount of hype that the community did on yeah, twitter yeah, yeah. on youtube I, i'll just like you know for the first two days i think i'll just watch like gameplays on youtube I, I feel like i'm gonna live stream and talk with you guys and get your perspective on it like if you are somebody that bought it or if you're not buying just like me and you're here to watch gameplay yes uh well we'll check out gameplay because the uh, seconds are gonna be live streaming we're gonna see like gameplay it's free guys it's on youtube it's gonna be free so we're gonna check it out we're gonna judge it it's gonna it's gonna be yeah yeah when is the when is the game coming out and that is why I hope that even for launch that people are even just somewhat interested at least in Terminus. And I will be doing a 12-hour stream of just probably Terminus. I mean, hey, I'll play. I, I guess we're gonna check it out. We're gonna check out the homie 12-hour stream. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so the game... <laughs> okay, the game is coming out October 25th. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I remember. Yeah. Yeah, I, I forgot for a second because like... You know, there it's like it's just crickets right now. You know what I'm saying? Play like, maybe one game of Liberty Falls, but you know that all of the Easter eggs, all of the actual content, is really only gonna be on Terminus. So in a way, we are kind of getting a Black Ops Cold War launch where we have one map with a bunch of content, and then we have kind of really just like a side mode. Like Cold War had onslaught where you can play in multiplayer maps, and technically that. I, I, and I don't mind that. I, I feel like that's a good idea. I also feel like that they can have zombies. Even even on like warzone as long as they got round by zombies map and as long as those maps are good and zombies like then you can have zombies on multiplayer and, and you know it can be a thing for uh, yeah like why have liberty balls be like a multiplayer map when you suckers could have chose to have an onslaught mode zombies on multiplayer and you can have zombies on a warzone map too like come on like duh y'all suckers got 3000 deaths Maybe not right now because Phil Spencer fired a lot of them. So <laughs> after he acquired Activision and he said that he's uh, he's gonna make a good environment for devs, he acquires it and fires like we heard 19 1900 devs. Holy crap! Phil just went in gang gang brothers. He went gang gang though. 
is what Liberty Falls is. It's technically Onslaught. It's a multiplayer. And we're also not getting like the open world zombies thing, right? Like, what was that? What, you, no, these suckers like had that in uh, in Black Ops Cold War. Like, open world kind of zombies, right? Uh, a lot of people didn't like it. A lot of people loved it. I thought that was a very good idea. I want to see something like that. But, of course, once again, after we have good, solid zombie maps that are round based and that feels like zombies big big thing here big keyword feels like zombies or the main thing i should say that's the main thing man zombies gotta feel like zombies bro like if i want to play multiplayer i got multiplayer if i want to play warzone i got warzone but if i want to play zombies i don't want to play multiplayer damn it player map with zombies in it so again i hope that black ops 6 zombies does not just continuously cater to warzone players and milo's even brought up a lot of great points in his podcast where he said how often are warzone players transforming into zombies players like the call of duty has this big division problem where there's so many different communities like the dmz community the zombies community the you warzone point, community the multiplayer community even the campaign community and they keep getting getting divided because of the warzone brick that's in the middle of every single one of them and so i hope black ops 6 zombies does have enough recognition because like i've even stated before cold war even had oh man without the hood bro like this looks so good and you know for damn sure that the these guys recorded this on pc with like <laughs> nasa level cpu nasa level graphics card the ones that only exist in area 51's right yeah, yeah oh area 51 not plural singular like uh but like the, the ones uh oh you never know they might have like uh, multiple areas oh of course they do multiple areas but y you know what i mean right like damn man like the gameplay looks so good here but then when we get to play it it's like looks like liberty balls bro like that's the thing i'm suspect about hella suspect bro. more appreciation suspect. and hype even just for a nocturne totem remake so again the problem is not reused assets it's mainly just the perception and how the marketing was done i mean they could have spaced out the trailers to be, yeah like to be fair though like you're seeing the honeybees from the shadows of evil uh so margua as well from shadows of evil you also got like some of the bosses from black ops cold war so there are a lot of reused assets and that's the funny thing right i haven't seen people necessarily complain about it but now that liberty balls look so bad and the 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 community's perspective uh, perception change then yeah people started bringing it up right and it's a fair question like bro these seconds had four years and we're still getting recycled assets in new maps they can remaster maps though and i'm not against them remastering maps but it's just that like at least have new content that's good too you know you feel what i'm saying like the video a little if you're bit more they could have done even just a little drops of intel here and there and i really like, hope drops, that the dlc yeah. season is not just liberty falls maps now kevin drew has stated Imagine. that they have been cooking up a lot for 2025 and 2024 even having a dlc huge map coming out before the end of the year but it is going to be interesting because if this first oh, map shit. does not get good reception i just don't know how the rest of the season is going to you be imagine like this map is actually good and then i end up buying the game right i'm like hey i'm shaking i'm shaking i'm shaking i'm buying i'm buying and then dlc one map hits and it's like liberty balls it's garbage it's garbage on that level i would be pissed i feel like that a lot of people would be pissed at that point if it turns out that terminus is so good that you're like hey man i gotta buy it i gotta buy it i gotta buy it. and then the the following maps are just just so piss poor you're like hey liberty balls was actually better you know i i don't want to get down to that but guys whatever you do do not watch this video massive streamer ended up getting caught cheating today ended up getting banned as well and you want to know like what happened right after he started playing on a, another account without his cheats and it was absolutely hilarious check this video out and i'll see you right there